What is up people, this is Avaya Sishkar. In this video, I'll be talking about APIs and using them in a Python script. So let's get started. So the main libraries that we'll be using would be two. One, requests and two, JSON. So request is HTTP for humans, as if this is going to be coded by an AI. Now the syntaxes are quite simple and hence makes life, e makes life easier. Now let's start with API. API stands for Application Program Interface. So what for me this basically means is that a website or any piece of code that gives its output and it can be taken into some other form of code and used. Now if you look at the ethos panel, it has its own API. Most of it, it, it is unreadable in the current form. Same goes for other sites as well. Some are easy, some are hard. Now let's take a look at what to mine. So what to mine two has its own JSON. Now this, it is a bit readable, but if it were in this form, so it would be hard. So what we would do is we would just copy it all, put it in a JSON parser and it would give it out it would index it in a much more readable fashion so if we were to just take the main cryptos let's say we just do it for these so we know that the first one is coins and in that there are multiple indexes such as ethereum ethereum classic nice hash nice hash et hash and so on now, if we open up Ethereum, it has all these different parameters as well, which can be used. We'll go into that a bit further. Same goes for crypto compare. Now this side too has the API. It's over here. And it's examples are also given on its own site. So, Let's start with the code. This is this is a small simple code that I wrote for it. Now this would use what to mine. So if we first look at the code, we import the two libraries that we need, JSON and requests. Next we define a header which was given in requests. That is this application JSON cache set UTF eight. Next, the URL. Now, temporarily, we are using what to mine coins.json, and hence we would add it. The first thing that we'll do is request.get URL API and headers. Everything is in the GitHub page, and you can look into it further. Next, we'll print the request's output. Next, we'll take the uh, we'll dump it, then we'll load it. Now to show all this, it would be easier to just run the code and see it for yourself. And last but not the least, the ending line would be the output coins Ethereum estimated rewards. How we got that? It was using this. The first column was coins. After that, in that Ethereum, and that we just selected a random one. Now let's just run it. Okay, so we've got this whole blob. Now what this really is, I'll have to scroll up. The request.get URL API comma headers, it would send a request and get a response. After that, that response is dumped into a variable A and that gives out the whole API. That is the same thing, um, this one. Next, we convert it into a readable format. That starts from here. 
you can see a lot of things would have changed this whole thing it gets changed to you and then the thing this represents a json format now for most people now for explaining this would be a bad example so what we'll do is we'll just comment out that one and use another one now this is a url from crypto compare so if we'll just add it over here it's a, it's a short one and hence easier to use so we'll just copy this we'll just look into the parser and gives out just one column usd and the value so to just use this so to use this what we'll do is we'll just remove all the extra brackets as we only have one row change coins to usd and that's it save it next we'll just go over here and now if i run this one more line as you can see it is clearly visible the same thing we got a response it was loaded onto a variable which we printed and then that variable was converted into a json format that starts with a u double quotes uh, replaced by single quotes and a u and the value and it, and we just took that value and printed it now you might see this is simple so if we just add euro 2 it changes into two lines So let's say if I want to print euros as well, or so we, we will just copy this, these two lines. That's it. Change it, adding a few lines, and we have the out outputs. So that sums up this video. So thank you people for watching this video. Like this video or dislike it. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Turn on the notification bells. And see you next time. Ta-da!